My name is Rick Hall. I'm from a company called Ignite, based in Nottingham in the United Kingdom. And I'm here in the grounds of the IUCAA uh, facility in Pune. I'm delighted to be here. Uh, we've been doing some experiments about how sound reaches our ears and the different ways that it uh, sounds when it does. So I've got an experiment here which is called the Slinky experiment. And some of you will be familiar with the Slinky. It's a toy that uh, many people have. But did you know that we could make it sound like a science fiction film? Well, I'll show you how to do that. First of all, you just take a Slinky and you need two pieces of ordinary string, which we have here. I've made a loop at the end of this piece of string and I will now tie this to the top of one of the loops of the slinky. I'll show you how just to quickly make the loop. You just form a loop, tie it round, and there we have a loop. You need to make sure that the loop is big enough just to go over the ends of your fingers. And then we tie that to the top of the slinky. And there we have it. Now, the exciting thing is that if you then place the, the loops over the ends of your four fingers, your index fingers, and put your fingers in your ears, then you get the most amazing sound effects. Which of course you can't hear, but when we have some children, I'll demonstrate just how amazing that is. Now, we can do, I've discovered that not only can you do it with just yourself, but if you tie four pieces of string to the slinky, Two people can have a go at the same time. And why stop at two? If you tie four pieces of string to the slinky, a group of people can play all at the same time. So again, this is a sound experiment. Let's see what happens when I ask the boys to put that loop over that finger and that loop over that finger, facing each other but not falling off the, off the thing. Um, well, can you come a bit closer to the edge? Because I'm going to try and drop it down there. Okay, pop the finger, your fingers in your ears. Okay, and I shall drop it. And I'll go three, two, one, go. That re that re I think something happened. <laughs> <laughs> amusement park, right? Oh, you, uh, yes, amusement parks, yes. Two, one, that re that re that re Can you do something? What does it sound like? And it's all because the sound is travelling through the string better than it travels through the air. And the other important thing that I sometimes tell children is before you had computers and you know electronic instruments, they sometimes used to put springs inside pianos to make special sound effects for films. So that's how they made special sound effects before you had computers. Okay.